Hey guys, welcome back to Grind City. Who's excited? I'm excited to grind everything into dust. Maybe you should do the grinding off show before we play this again. Yeah. This will probably be the last episode of the night, guys. Anyhow, we can just talk about random shit. Yeah, do you wanna? You're warm, aren't you? So warm. So yeah. very, very warm. This is very fresh. Maybe we'll only play Pokemon on like the cooler days. Like when the rain's rolling in or something. Or Yeah, because it's getting hot. Like, even in Canada, guys, it gets really hot in the summer. Maybe you should return to Shannon's arms. Yeah, Dev. Yeah, Dev. Maybe we should. Naomi. Dev? Something wrong? Do you feel like death? I always feel like death. <laughs> Wonder who wrote this guide, guys. My favorite Pokemon's Haunter. How about you, Naomi? Really? Wish you didn't lose the cover to the guide. Yeah, we're Canadian. Can it gets hot? It does legitimately get hot. I wonder if, if Gail Tilden. Okay, here, guys, do me a favor, okay? Hop on the internet, look up the original Pokemon Red Blue guide, and see who was the editor in chief of it. See if it was Gail Tilden, because Gail Tilden did the Mario RPG guide we have over there, the Chrono Trigger guide, the Golden Eye guide. I think Gail Tilden did, did all of the guides uh, for Nintendo Power. No, it's quite warm. It was 60F. Start using real temperatures, you fucking Amerifats. Celsius is the only real one. Celsius is the only real one. Only real one. Only real one. What is 60 Fahrenheit? I don't know. What is summer? Like a week? <laughs> no. It's... Our hot days generally start coming in about May, and they're usually done around the end of August. And they're pretty warm. And there's a few in September. But, but here's the thing, though. Hoser. <laughs> here's the thing, though, dude. Our winters are like five months long. It's like snow. 22 degrees, men. No, no we, 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 get, we go up to 30 quite often, honestly, in the summer. It's hot. I, I've seen some 35 degree days. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's the thing, like our our summers are about on par with like Northern California summers. It's our winters that are terrible. Yeah. Our winters are like five months of snow, and it's fucking brutal. There's a lot of it's snow, like and it no gets really cold. It's like November, beginning of November to end of March, just snow, 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 snow. Of course, you want Japan portable niche. But yeah, we should probably get some food after this. Maybe watch. Watch some telly before we go to bed. More Star Trek. Yeah, or The Room. More Star Trek! You guys are watching Star Trek, guys. Fucking relationship bullshit ass piece of fucking... Do what I want. Man, you know what? You fucking... You want to sit down and have a nice relaxing night of playing Pokemon, right? But you got a girlfriend. So the girlfriend says we should compromise. You know, you want to play Pokemon. I want to watch TV. We'll compromise, okay? We'll watch TV. Okay, well, you know what? I feel like watching The Room. You feel like watching Star Trek. So, we'll compromise and we'll watch Star Trek, right? Okay? I feel like having popcorn. You feel like having pizza. We'll compromise so we'll fucking have pizza, right? So instead of having a great night where you play Pokemon and you eat popcorn, you have a terrible night where you fucking watch Star Trek and you eat pizza. That's what being in a relationship is, guys. That's what it is. That's what it, that's what compromising is. <laughs> hey Naomi, how's it going? <laughs> are you are you okay? <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> Can I hold your hand? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Amy feels like being Ash telling Dev to accept the balls. <laughs> Who the fuck compromised? <laughs> That's a terrible relationship. Get out while you have the chance. Thanks, Bertilicon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. Now we're generally actually pretty much on on page, on mm -hmm. the same page with things. Yeah, for real. It's like you feel like stupid Canadians. <laughs> like like you and I, you know we. We generally like the same stuff, you know, we spend time together, and, and whenever we want to do something that's different, we do, we do, like, just kind of say, okay, well, I'm just going to go over here and do this, and you go over there and do that, kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Barney Styson, <laughs> the joke. No, actually, I, I don't, that, that's, Barney Styson, that's, I'm oh, your, I mother? your mother? Did. Yeah. I wasn't really a fan of it, so no. Sorry, dude. Dev, don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. If you train and evolve your starter before ever getting the Pokédex, it stops you from ever getting the Pokédex, and you can never continue progress in the story. It ruins your game. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. Turn the hat backwards and get the business. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I'm getting tired. Jesus! What's wrong? Die. Maybe you can't get to the gym tonight because you. I don't think I can. Not tonight. Oh, shit, dude. I guess Naomi will grind off show because fuck. Yeah. You're, you're gonna be forced to wear the uh, onesie though whenever you do it. Okay. Oh, Naomi hasn't saved the game yet. Nope. Oh no, Naomi. Please don't ruin anything. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Yeah, I mean, have you ever done psychedelics? No, I thought about it though. Really? Why? Maybe an interesting time, though I don't entirely trust my brain to let it be an actual fun time. I'm disappointed. Oh yeah, there's there's Romad's trap mode workout. Here's how I met your mother. Um, I didn't, she did. I didn't like it. I watched a little bit of it I didn't, didn't like it. I watched like three episodes and I was like, nope. Yeah. You have bad taste in TV though. Like you like you like fucking Steven's universe. Most bullshit ass. You know, you like Futurama. Futurama's like okay. Not the greatest, but Save the game, Naomi. Save the game. Press start. Press start. Start. <laughs> Naomi, please. Mine. <laughs> you like Steven's universe? I don't. Futurama yeah, I is think your favorite. I'm nah. not the one with the trash taste. I think you just are. Game of Thrones, best show ever. I agree. Done. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> don't talk shit about Steven's universe. Steven U. Steven University. I remember I once like found that Steven Universe. The, the Steven Universe porn that I found, what, what what character was it? Oh god, I think it was Garnet and Pearl. <laughs> it was the one where like she was giving a blowjob and she got paid for it. She's like, wow, I got a lot of money. Like, was, like, like innocently. That was Pearl. That was Pearl? That yeah. Was Pearl. Yeah. I'm like, you know, look at this. And you like got all, you got so fucking mad at me. and semi-innocent lovely show and just leave it alone. <laughs> you know, I think that Game of Thrones is better than it. I think Walking Dead is better than it. I think that, uh... I think the earlier seasons of Walking Dead are definitely way better than it. And the later seasons... Are later seasons aren't very good at all. No. Um, I think that House of Cards is way better than it. Yeah. By far. I'm not saying it's the best show in the I world. I think that, uh, all the Star Treks, even the shitty ones... Oh. Attack on Titan's really good. Yeah. Why you waste time on mediocre shit? <laughs> Just watch Attack on Titan with me. Ow! Don't hit me. They're all shit. 
show about rape. It's not... Are you... Okay, Lopez, Deep Space Nine is the best Star Trek show. It's the best. Hey, kids. Wanna fuse? What about rape? Jesus Christ, Matt. <laughs> I guarantee you that... that uh, Ewok Blitz has left after that conversation. Maybe. But no, I'm just I'm just no fan of, of, of Steven's universe at all. That's what deodorant's for. It seems like an SJW show. Um oh, shit. Stop shaking the entire couch. Please. I can feel everything jiggle. <laughs> I don't jiggle as bad as I used to though. Like when I was when I was like over 300 pounds, I would like walk be walking down the street and like everything on my body would just like bounce around. And then like I would stand in one place and it, like my entire body would just like jiggle in place just bloop, 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 yeah. because I was that fat. It yeah. was like just fucking, like nothing on my body would ever stop moving at least once. Jesus. Refusing, Jesus. I wonder, like, if you fire a bullet directly up into the air, will it ever leave orbit? It doesn't leave orbit, does it? No. I don't think Comes back down. Eventually. Yeah. I don't really think it's an SJW show. I just think a lot of SJWs like it. Nah, that's pretty SJW. How do you know? You've never watched it. I watched little bits and pieces of it. It uses like the slang of the SJWs use. You know, describing something bad as like not okay, being overly innocent when it doesn't when the answer, when it doesn't really call for it, using gross as a catch-all term for anything that you dislike ever. It doesn't use and gross and also it's and innocent because Steven's never really been out into the world because he doesn't go to school. And it also has three lesbian main characters. <laughs> I knew it was gonna get you. I knew it was gonna get under your skin. Was there ever a reason for the characters to be lesbian? They're all female. The entire race is female. Really? Yeah. And they don't actually like have sex. And technically, they're not supposed to feel, or well, technically not supposed to feel love, but they still do. It's like. Not a good thing according to their okay. leaders. So how do they reproduce? They don't. They well, okay. So, so okay. W w when they die, they just they just don't get re replaced. Well, no, they can because because they're pretty much just rocks. Like, you know, like they they they, they actually dynamite like, will kill rocks. Yes, I'm not saying they can't die, but they're pretty much immortal unless you like shatter them. Okay, but it was not actually when someone someone. dies. So, so, like, th their society will be in perpetual decline then, because no, if no, they no, die, no. they never, they never, you can't You be would let me fucking finish any of my sentences ever. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, go on, Naomi. <laughs> anyway, no, no the they reproduce because they're, they're, like... <sighs> yes. They're more or less like rocks. They were just beings made of light, and, like, they have, like, gems. So they're, they, they're very close to just being like crystals and like gems and rocks, so they actually come from the ground, but they have to be like harvested and stuff. Like they, they, like they have to have like an entire what they call a kindergarten, it's more or less like a lot of... Like, I don't actually know how they do it. So if that's the case, then why do they have love or sex at all if sex doesn't result in reproduction? They don't have sex. Then how are they lesbians? Because they're all female and the females love each other. But why? Fucking no, because the other th things other than people can have feelings. Well, yes, but biologically, love exists because there's a need for two people to reproduce. That's how it is with all animals. Yes, well, maybe... L lo love motivates you to reproduce. Sex gives you pleasure in order to trick you into reproduce, into reproducing. If a race of beings exists where they don't need love or sex in order to facilitate reproduction, they would not evolve love or sex. So why Death. do they why why do Death. they have love and sex? It's a kid's show. 
It doesn't fucking have to be that complicated. This is why Steven's universe is bad. Oh my god. Whatever. That was that was very easy to like logic out. <laughs> it's a kid's show. Kids shows aren't fucking logical. You hit me. You hit me. doesn't mean they're lesbians. <laughs> Naomi's getting trolled hard tonight. I know it has lesbians. I just, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't consider it an SGW show. I consider it a kid's show that a lot of SGWs just happen to like because, you know, it's probably because a lot of, you know, SGWs are like really into the LGBT scene. And it's a, like one of the shows that typically has out and gay characters. That actually recalls, uh, that actually reminds me of something. Um, Dry Bones is, is a well known. Like, you guys know who Dry Bones is. You don't know, but you guys know who Dry Bones is. Um, he's a gay guy, right? And he's like, he's in shape. He like lifts him, goes to the gym and stuff, right? And he, he's like constantly trying to find a boyfriend, but they all just want to bang him. And none of them actually want a relationship. So he's just, he's just always sad about it, right? Mm -hmm. I also like and Rick and Morty, yeah. There was a guy. There was a guy. Rick and Morty also kind of sucks, too. But no. There's a guy that tells Dry Bones that because he's politically conservative, he's not a gay person. He's like, I like to have sex with men. He's like, but you're not gay. That's not. That's he said, he's like, listen, you're, you may like to have sex with men, but you're not gay because you're conservative. And it's like, and because you're not part of the LGBT community, you're not gay. And it's like, sure. With the, with. The, yeah, Waluigi Drybones Daisy. It was Waluigi Dry. It was I think it was Wario Drybones Peach, in in Grumps. That's Nintendo. Dog. Yeah, no, I watched Valkyrie Drive. Valkyrie Drive was just fucking. <laughs> it was more or less just lesbian porn, quite honest. <laughs> I, my, I, I don't know if I were, you were there, Portable Minis, for my complaint about Valkyrie Drive, but I mm -hmm. did actually like it. But what made me mad was fact that they kept they had like the the like the base for like a really insane cool story but they kind of like shoehorned in more fucking boobs and sex and whatnot well not actual sex but like almost sex yeah I know. instead of like story time and i'm just like man <laughs> rick and morty is trash but here's the thing, it's I know- It's just some, lesbian porn. I'm just- okay. uh, uh, I took uh, it back. Uh, I took it back. A friend, not not a friend, someone I know works on Rick and Morty, and I still don't care to watch it. And I was like, oh, whatever. LGBTQPPIAA+, that's so stupid. Yeah, no, it's really long now. I still, I still only call it LGBT because fucking- I don't under- Like, out of all of that, I, don't, I still don't fucking understand what queer means. What their definition of queer means. I'm like, doesn't it just isn't it just a derogatory term for gay people? Apparently it's not. It's his own thing now, so whatever. I don't fucking care, Fuck dude. Sakes. <laughs> That's the worst part about being bi, is that now you gotta like uh, somehow associate ourselves with those fucking degenerate yeah. assholes. And it's like, no. No, I'm not that. But at the same time, I mean that that's kind of the point behind that guy calling dry bones like not a gay, a real gay person. Because he's not politically gay, but he is, you know, sexually gay, but he's politically conservative. He's like, no, you're not really gay. No. I mean, to be fair, I only watched Rick and Morty through once. I'm one of those queers. Fuck you, fairy. I mean, honestly, you're, you're, if you're I, just Dave sexual. If I went by like the LGBTQ blah blah blah, blah whatever, I would be pan, not by. No, pan's not even fucking real. Stop, stop inventing shit, you fucking assholes. You make yourself feel fucking good. No. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking stab you in the face if you don't stop being a goddamn prickosaurus. <laughs> good God. <laughs> it's funny. Queer means I won't put labels on my sexuality, and that's just stupid. What? 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 It's so dumb. You know, pan is pretty much bi. Like, the definition of pan is that you're bi, more or less. You're pretty much just bi, but you like people for their personalities more for their, than their looks. We're at 20 minutes. Good. Are you done for tonight? I'm done with your fucking shit for tonight, you goddamn fucking asshole. Because I'm done for tonight. Okay, guys. On the next episode of No Talent Gaming... Both Avery and Naomi will be replaced.
It'll re be replaced by an actual robot. <laughs>